Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, hi, I'm Bello Kevy. If you are not already subscribed, please do so because that would help me out a lot. So for this week's video, we are back at Universal Studios because Universal Studios hit capacity yesterday and I've only been here about once when it's done that. And you guys know I'm a nosy boy who lives for the drama. So I wanna head into Universal Studios, check out the crowd levels and just, you know, be in the mix. But before we jump into this video, I just want to take a quick second to talk to you guys really quick. So yesterday I went to Disney Springs to film, but I was having a difficult time filming. And the more I do YouTube, the more I would like to open up to you guys. So basically, I'm someone who suffers from like severe social anxiety. I have really high moments of where I can deal with being in public. And then I have extreme lows where it's hard for me to power through and create a video. So I just, I, I say that to say, I'm very fortunate to have friends and family who are capable of talking me off that ledge. And I know a lot of other people don't have that. So if you are someone who is suffering from social anxiety or depression or anything like that, please feel free to message me. You don't have to tell me everything that's going on in your life if you're not comfortable, but I just wanna make sure that I'm doing my part because I also suffer from those same things. So if I can help somebody, I would, I would love to do that. So you can DM me through Instagram. I will absolutely respond. <sighs> that felt good. That felt good to kind of get that off my chest. Like I'm, I'm feeling more comfortable in front of the camera and talking to you guys. Yesterday was a bit of a rough day, but I am back off that ledge and I'm ready to film today. So I don't know who needed to hear it, but you got this. All right, so now that I got all of that off of my chest, I feel so much better. We can head into the park and live our most magical life. All right, so right off the bat, you can tell the day we're about to have because we are parked on the top garage. I have never parked up here. So that's a sign that Universal is gonna be packed. It finna be packed, but let's do it. All right, friends, so we made it past security. Wasn't too bad. Um, I would film it for you guys, but they're really like iffy about filming there. Sometimes they let you, sometimes they don't. I guess it just depends on who you get. But we're walking into City Walk right now, and I'm about to show you the sea of people. I love this. Low key, I kind of love this. <laughs> Boom, guys, look at that sea of people. I don't think I've ever seen Universal, at least City Walk, this crowded before. Wow, but obviously they're all headed to Islands of Adventure, so that's where we're headed. Follow the crowd. Also, another thing I forgot to mention is I wanted to give a shout out to David from The Adventure Unlocked on Instagram. He donated to the channel and we are so grateful. Um, as of this moment, we don't get paid from YouTube. You know, we're not monetized yet, so anything that we do comes out of our pocket. So when you give donations, it really does help out the channel a lot. So thank you, David, for that. And if you would like to donate to the channel, you can do so through Cash App and PayPal. Also, I just realized I look so crazy right now. I have the hat, the glasses, the mask. I look like a killer. All right, friends, welcome to Islands of Adventure. Doesn't look too crowded right now. I don't know what's going on. Where is everybody? I know where they are. The Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Should we do it, guys? Should we go to the Wizarding World? You guys can't respond, so I'm gonna take that as a guess. Let's go. And we are just gonna cut through Seuss Landing. Guys, if you have yet to see our tour of Seuss Landing before it goes, please check it out. We had so much fun filming that. It was hilarious. The response we've gotten back from you guys has been amazing. So please check that out. Cat in the Hat is a 25 minute wait. That's pretty big for Cat in the Hat. And it looks like they have the backstage area open so you can cut over to the park without having to walk through City Walk, which is convenient, but that's a sign that you know that the park is pretty busy. So I'm gonna take you guys back there after we do a lap around. It is a very hot day here in Orlando, Florida. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I am sweating like a sinner in church. Hallelujah. Huge shout out to the Harry Potter fans who come here in the robes and can like last in them in the summer heat. 
you are brave and you are true shout out to you <laughs> it is our lucky day the bridge to the velocicoaster is open so i think we should check it out let's go all right and here is the bridge to the velocicoaster and of course they're not doing testing guys this is going to be so incredible look at him trimming those trees you better trim those trees girl i believe in you the anticipation is honestly killing me like i need to ride this as soon as possible yep. cool shots <laughs> Here is the group of people that always cluster by Hagrid's motorbike adventure. I wish they wouldn't do that. It just costs such like a, a stir right before you enter the Wizarding World. It's honestly so annoying, but I mean, I get it. You're here. This might be your only time coming to Universal Studios and you want to ride everything possible. But yeah, just to the left, to the left, girl, to the left, to the left. Holy S word. Wow, 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 wow. I have never seen the Wizarding World this crowded. Let me try to get a... Guys, this is not safe. <laughs> this is not safe. I honestly don't think I've ever seen the Wizarding World this crowded before. Somebody like ran over me with their scooter and honestly, it was just nice to feel seen for a moment. So, that was nice. You guys know I love Universal Studios, but if someone were to ask me my honest opinion, should you come right now? I would say absolutely not. Don't come. Do not come here. It is so busy. You probably will get to ride one or two things if you're lucky. Probably not even. If you want to come here for the ambiance, sure, but you're going to be like trampled over basically. That's literally what just happened at the Wizarding World. So we need to move on. All right, so we are making our way through Toon Lagoon, and I think this would be a good time to tell you guys that me and my co-host Tony have decided that we are going to continue our deep dives on the area. The response we got back from Seuss Landing was overwhelming, so we are going to do a deep dive of each area here at Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure. So next week, we're gonna cover Toon Lagoon. We're gonna show you guys everything they have to offer. Hit the shops, hit the restaurants. So if you are excited to see that video, which I know you are, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on that bell notification so you get notified whenever I post a brand new video. Yes, mama, work. All right, making our way through Toon Lagoon. I'm not gonna show you guys too much because like I said, we have that deep dive coming, but today's purpose is to just show you the crowd level and you guys know i said this many many times on my channel this area is never really busy and when it is that's how you can tell like there are extreme crowd levels so yeah look at this look at this you know i kind of feel offended in a way because nobody usually comes here on a regular schmegala degala day but when there's nowhere else to go oh now y'all want to come run into this area i have a soft spot for this area if you can tell <laughs> mm. Captain America, we meet again. Hello, my daddy in the sky. I don't know why, but whenever I see Captain America, I just get so nervous. <laughs> yeah, Comic Book Island has a fair amount of crowds. Seems like they're all just clustered up in front of Spider-Man. So, I don't know, not too bad. But how dope will our deep dive be of this area? This would be cool. And maybe we'll do the Hulk ride. But they do not allow you to film or even bring a phone on the ride. So that might be a little bit difficult to, to film for you guys. All right, friends. So we made our way back into Seuss Landing. And we're going to take this backstage way to get over to Universal Studios. So hopefully I can film back there. I'm not really sure how they are about filming behind the scenes. But here we go. Let's see if we can do it. All right, so we are backstage. Ooh, I've only done this once before. It is really cool. Check it out. Look at this. Hi, so just make Hi. sure you're not filming back of house. Okay, no problem. All right, friends, so now we are inside the universal side of the park. 
Um, I try to get a little bit of footage, you know, break the rules just a tiny bit. Obviously, you're not allowed to film back there because they don't want you to ruin the magic. You know what I mean? And I get that completely. And that's something that I feel like I want to talk about real quick. You know, the, the moment that you walk through these gates, you are agreeing to their rules. And that goes for the masks. Like, I see a lot of people here with the mask under the nose. And if you don't want to wear the mask, then just don't come. It's, it's that easy. You walk through those gates, you are agreeing to follow their rules. And the way the cast member dealt with our situation with filming was pleasant. I don't know if you could hear her, but she just said, Sir, please don't film back here. And I was like, sure, no problem. Because I agreed to follow the rules when I came here. That simple, guys. Okay, but I feel like this side of the park is maybe a little bit more crowded because of Mardi Gras happening right now. Wow, there are a lot of people here. Honestly, there are so many people here that I'm terrified to see what Diagon Alley is going to look like. But I will put my life on the line for you guys. So we're going to head into Diagon Alley and see what that looks like. Yes, I would do anything for content. Yes, I would do anything for content, but I won't do that. <laughs> I'm so funny. Now, I've only done the Transformers ride about once, and it made me really nauseous, but if you guys like that ride, leave a comment down below. I, I, I don't think I've ever met anybody who likes that ride. Oh God, look at this crowd towards the Wizarding World. I, I, I can only assume that everybody in Diagon Alley must be packed like little sardines. And I'm into it. Alright, here we go. Wow, wow, we wow. Uh, this little area is empty. But everybody's gathering back there. Should we go into the pit? COVID, here we come. It's like, nah, I shouldn't joke like that. Wow, I could barely like maneuver through the crowd. There are so many people. Yikes. Wow, look at the line to get into the shops. Holy cannoli. Yeah, there is no social distancing here, mama. Jeez, there are so many people here. Green Gots. Green Gots is a 120 minute wait. Oh my God. This is wild. This is wild. I feel like I can honestly say now, I hate spring break crowds. 100,000%. This sucks. This sucks. Honestly, it's so bad right now. Like, I don't even know where to go. Like, they're doing a show over there, The Tale of the Three Brothers, and it's just a mosh pit of people. And it's like, wh wh where do I go? Maybe home? Maybe home? Maybe that's a sign from my daddy above saying, go home. For those of you who don't know, I call my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, Daddy in the Sky, Father up above. So, just a little bit of reference for you guys. All right, guys, we had to get out of the Wizarding World because you know what? The devil works hard, but these Spring Breakers, they're working harder because it was absolute hell in there. So we're moving on. I'm out of there. Too crazy. I can't with these Spring Breakers. I just, I can't do it. I can't. You know, and it sucks because I come here so often and I feel like I haven't gotten on a ride in weeks, weeks because the lines are ridiculously long. So it's just, it just sucks right now to be here at Universal. You know, if this is your once in a lifetime dream of coming here and this is the only time you can do it, work, make the best of the situation. But for me, someone who comes often, it doesn't pay for me to wait on those lines because I can come in February when it's empty and Simpsons, for instance, will be a, a 15 minute wait, if that. So just a little bit of food for thought for you guys right there. All right, guys, I think I'm going to have to call it for today. It is way too busy to get anything done. I don't see us getting on any rides or even getting online for food. Everything is so long. So I think we're just going to end it here. So with that said, 
Thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe. Also, you can donate to the channel through Cash App or PayPal. And if you can't, understandable. Times are hard right now. But simply giving this video a thumbs up helps out so much. So definitely hit that like button. As always, I love you for watching and I'll see you real soon. Bye.